Hey, Grace Quotes. Uh, a few weeks back, I preached on the uh, biblical response to some of these school shootings that have been taking place in our country. And um, um, I'm not against many of the, uh, much of the legislation that's been signed into place um, from um, metal detectors to armed security, um, background checks, mental illness. That's uh, all wise. Um, uh, but it's in a sense, it's it's not really going to uh, solve the problem. It might prevent it. Um, the the debate on uh, just completely eliminating guns is is uh, completely uh, illogical. And if you study the statistics, it's something that would uh, never happen or make any difference. Uh, the bottom line is there are evil people out there, and the weapons will always be readily available. Uh, the Bible comes at it from another perspective, and I want to take a couple sessions here just to talk about a, a few things that I, I hope that you will humbly consider with me. Uh, number one is the Bible tells us to respect authority. It says this in Romans chapter 13, verse 1, every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there's no authority except for God, and those that exist are established by God. Titus chapter 3, remind them to be subject to rulers. Because our hearts are so sick, God in his mercy, his common grace, has established two means to restrain society. One of those is the conscience, and the other one is civil authorities. In order for us to have a safe society to keep us from killing each other, we need law officers in place. We need the government in place to protect us, in a sense, from each other. And I am saddened that there is no respect for those in authority. And here's the point I'm trying to make. If we can't respect those who give us the rules, why will we ever then respect the rules that they intend to give us? Rules that are oftentimes good for protecting society. I'm not saying we agree with everything our president or our senator uh, does. Uh, and I'm not even saying they're always respectable men or women. But the responsibility we have is to respect the people in office because God has established those people and to respect their rules in order to maintain a society that is safe and free from chaos. It says in Romans 13 too, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God. We can't run around and trash the president and trash Congress and uh, trash the, the church pastor and the police officer and the school teacher. And then as parents, even respect, expect our children to respect our authority as parents. God has established authority. We respect authority. And by respecting authority, we're respecting God. And we're also going to have more respect for the rules that they hand down to us. Let me give you a second one, then we'll call it quits today. Number two, God has given us two great commandments, the greatest commandments. And that is to love God with all our heart and to love our neighbors ourself. Um, we are called actually to regard one another as more important than ourselves. Clear to say the reason that people go out and kill people is because they do not love others as much as they love themselves. They love themselves way more. And because of that, they're able to go out and simply blow people away. But the bottom line is this. We are all born with a predisposition in our heart to exalt self, to worship self, and do whatever we have to do to accomplish our own will. And the way we manifest it is seen in different ways. But as it comes to this specific point, I consider how much we tolerate it in our society by critiquing and hurting other people, specifically all human beings that are made and created in the image of God that have an inherent value to them as part of God's creation. We laugh at crude put-downs of other people, and we call it comedy. We treat others with rudeness and, and a very um, insens insensitivity to the perspective they may have, and we call it debate. We destroy other people's property in the streets, and we call it justifiable anger or even justifiable celebration after a sports victory. We demonize our opponents. We call it free speech. We gossip and we slander against other people. We call it the news. We attack people of faith in very vicious ways and we call it liberation. And we kill babies and we call it choice. Again, every person is created special because they are made by God. We need to restore the sanctity of human life. And we're not going to do that, my friends, by teaching self-esteem. Self-esteem basically, self basically says that you are number one 
and you make sure that the world respects you and loves you and that all people exist to fill up your empty love tank, uh, they are there to meet your needs. It's just the opposite. It's preaching the truth, and the truth is that you are not that special. Life is not that fair. You better get used to it and start loving other people more than you love yourself and put God at the top of the food chain by loving him and desiring to show that love for him by following his commandments. I'll give you a few more as we continue these sessions together. Thanks for watching.